I was replying to some dude and trying to explain why it is that I'm so wary of these dogs, so I figured I'd tell the story. I haven't talked about this much because I get blamed whenever I try. Also, it wasn't a serious injury, but I'm still salty I lost a childhood friend over it, so you get to experience my rant. I'm a widow, and during my pregnancy, I was living with a close friend. Friend's girlfriend had just rescued a pit bull. She decided to name it, and I'm not kidding, Bubbles. Bubbles was about, I don't know, five or six months old. The dog was cute, to be honest, but hyper, and about as bright as the inside of a black hole. The way friend and girlfriend treated the puppy kind of activated my almonds. She'd dress it in pajamas and fed it a raw diet, and was deeply offended when I tried to tell her that that was a very stupid idea. Whatever. Not my dog. Not my wallet. Not my carpet. My dad's hobby was IPO Schutzhund, and I grew up with big dogs. Girlfriends thought it was abusive that my dogs were outside dogs and could not understand the concept of a working dog. It's like, basically, slavery? Hmm, yeah, makes sense. How did I not think of that? Bubbles liked to lovingly disembowel squirrels, bunnies, and other creatures. I reckon he understood so many would die during winter, and he wanted to do them a favor. He was indeed very thoughtful, which is probably why he was awarded food and plushies whenever he dragged the bodies inside the house. Small gifts of appreciation. Few understand. Anyway, the incident. I was on my bed, and so was the dog. At that point, I was too tired to care, and he was gentle around me. I don't know, maybe my dog-abusing ways were wrong. He was just chilling while I was working on my iPad. He'd been there for like two hours at that point, and I'd gone back and forth to the bathroom a lot. Third trimester. <laughs> I needed to go, and got up too fast. I was seeing stars and braced myself against the wall and sat down slowly. He got up and started to wag his tail and whine. I thought I was good with dog body language. It did look like he wanted to play. So I stretched out my hand to pet it, and the thing tried to go for my neck. Seriously, with zero warning. No growling, or whale eyes, or raised fur, or licking lips, or smiling. Nothing. I was lucky it got my hand and not my neck. It was maybe two minutes for my friend to get there and get the thing off of me. Not to be dramatic, but it was really scary. I know, it's a puppy, whatever. My hand and wrist looked like baloney, and I needed stitches. The ER doctor said, had it been a full-grown pit, I would have been discharged to Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, of course they kept the thing. He was just trying to play. I scared him sitting down too fast. He was trying to protect me, etc. When I asked my friend what the actual fuck he was thinking, he informed me he couldn't get rid of Bubbles because his girlfriend would leave him and he didn't want to be alone. Huh. Her friends then took it upon themselves to spam my socials with threats and well wishes for my child, like being eaten by their dogs. I told them their efforts would be more heroic and appreciated under articles about awful kids and old people provoking dogs into defending themselves. Someone has to speak for the voiceless. Activism is thankless, hard work. Friend and his girlfriend now have a child. I bet they're thankful they kept the nanny. <laughs>